All right. Short selling. Let's talk about short selling. I think I don't need to repeat, but I will. It is not my philosophy to short stocks. I've talked about how the best ways to make money over a long period of time are by low cost, diversified index funds in tax advantaged accounts. Keep buying, keep holding for the long term. But because it is something that is out there in the financial world, I thought we should at least talk about what it means to short sell. The easiest explanation is that instead of buying a stock where you make money if it goes up, you are instead buying a stock, although really you're selling it first and you make money if it goes down. OK, that the, the most important thing to understand is when you short sell, you make money if the stock goes down. So traders and investors, to the extent that short selling is investing, will use the short sale if they believe a company or the market is going to lose value. How exactly is it done? Well, the person who wants to do the short borrows the shares and then sells the borrowed shares. Eventually, those borrowed shares have to be returned. And the trader does that by then buying the stock at the current market price. If they're paying back shares that they bought for less than they sold or borrowed for, they've made money on the short and they pocket the difference. So let's just do a really simple example. When you are long a stock, OK, you might buy at ten dollars per share and then you might sell at fifteen dollars per share. OK, your profit is five dollars per share. You've made that. OK, that's a plus plus five dollars per share. When you sell, it's essentially the opposite. OK, you borrow the shares and you first sell them and you might sell them at fifteen dollars per share. The stock goes down. You now buy them back at ten dollars per share. And again, you are plus five dollars per share. You give the shares back to the person, you, the, the entity or whoever you borrowed them from. They still have their original shares. You've made five dollars per share. The most critical detail to understand about shorting is that when you are long a stock, the worst you can do is you lose your initial investment. If you buy at ten dollars a share and the stock goes to zero because the company went bankrupt, you lost ten dollars a share. If you're short selling, you can lose more than you actually invested. You can lose more than the original trade because the stock can just keep going up, 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 up. Imagine a situation where you do the short sale, right? Fifteen dollars per share. And then the stock goes to one fifty per share. You've now lost one thirty five per share. Imagine the shares go to fifteen hundred dollars. You've now lost fourteen eighty five per share. I think you get the picture. So short selling is a tactic that has extraordinarily high risk. Some do it as a hedge, but typically it's speculative and to make a bunch of money to open a short position. Traders uh, have to have margin accounts and often have to pay interest on the value of the borrowed shares. So now that we've explained shorting, we should talk about a short squeeze. A short squeeze is when there are a number of short sellers on a stock. Let's say a bunch of hedge funds think the David Pakman show is circling the drain and going under something that many of my viewers have said for a long time. Everybody starts shorting it. OK, and they want to make money on the way to my bankruptcy. Other investors, maybe hedge funds, whoever sees, look at all these people shorting Pacman. We're going to start shorting um, and it shorting, 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 shorting. OK, somebody catches wind and goes, hey, you know what? I don't think Pacman's going down. I think Pacman's going up. OK, they start buying shares and as they buy shares, the stock price starts going up. This causes fears of exactly the scenario I describe for the short sellers, and they start exiting their positions out of fear that they're going to lose more money. That is essentially a short squeeze. And you might remember in early 2021, there were short squeezes on stocks like GameStop and AMC and a bunch of financial institutions, including Melvin Capital, had huge short positions on the companies they thought were going down. They thought those companies were dying and retail traders, meaning individual people 
um, including people on the Wall Street Bets subreddit, said, let's start raising the price of this. Let's start buying, buying, buying. The people who bought the stock before the squeeze made a bunch of money and the short sellers uh, lost a whole bunch of money. And this is not without controversy. Short selling is criticized by some as immoral because you're really profiting from the failure of a company and you're artificially lowering the sale price of the, of the, the stock price, which hurts them even more. So there are people who don't believe short selling should even be possible. Once again, I've never shorted a stock, not something I recommend, not a good strategy for long term investment. But that is a rundown generally of how it works.